India's aviation industry could be facing losses of more than $4.5 billion thanks to the impact of the country's devastating second wave of COVID-19. Some experts predict India's six major airlines could be whittled down to just three. Ishan Gurg reports. It's India's biggest carrier by market share. And Indigo's latest earnings results are a snapshot of the health of the industry. $157 million in losses compared to $68 million in profits in December 2019. Delhi-based aviation consultancy Kappa India estimates the sector's racked up losses of more than $3.5 billion in the last year. And it predicts it will nosedive even further to $4.5 billion this year. That could force airlines to ground more than a quarter of 800 planes. It's the smaller airlines like SpiceJet which are likely to feel the impact the most. They're already struggling to pay leases on planes. So I think eventually consolidation is inevitable. Vivek Kirti is the head of strategy at Kappa India. He says Indian airlines were hardly in good shape even before the pandemic. Uh, weak balance sheets, poor liquidity, that's kind of what uh, dealt most airlines out here. Uh, the first wave of COVID had already inf uh, inflicted massive losses and an increasing debt burden on carriers that was structurally ill-equipped to absorb this kind of an impact. To stay afloat, companies are cutting costs drastically. Budget domestic air carrier Go Air has slashed salaries by 20% and SpiceJet has deferred salaries for the month of May. Pilots with the state air carrier Air India tell us that their salaries have been renegotiated with massive deductions. That may still not be enough to help struggling airlines take off. India's busiest airport, the Indira Gandhi Airport in Delhi, has shut down one of its three terminals as domestic demand isn't expected to pick up anytime soon. And international travel is unlikely to resume until the pandemic is brought under control. Actually, airlines are going to be in, in poorer shape coming out of this uh, pandemic than they were when they went in. So um, it's, um, it's something that governments need to um, take uh, awareness of and think about how to support the airlines. Carriers are calling for tax cuts on fuel, accounting for nearly 40% of their costs, but so far to no avail. The government is making it easier for them to access loans. But saddled with debt, the airlines that do survive may struggle for the long haul before they can turn any profit again. Ishan Gurg, CNA, New Delhi.